The burials in the first century were very typical now in Jesus' case. Uh, the body, Rome didn't care much who had the body afterwards. I mean, that was fine. So when Joseph of Arimathea and Nicodemus came along and claimed Jesus' body, fine, you know, get rid of an, you know, an embarrassing, you know, uh, just a, they brought Jesus to a typical first century tomb, which has an antechamber and a regular burial chamber. And in this case, they came to Joseph's tomb and indeed, it is a new one. Hadn't been used. Joseph intended it, I think, for his, uh, uh, his last days in Jerusalem. And he gave it now for Jesus' use. And indeed, uh, they, they tried to get everything done in terms of preparing that body with various spices, including myrrh, a gift which comes full circle. What did the Magi give Jesus <laughs> at his nativity? Gold, frankincense, and myrrh. It's an embalming ointment, very expensive. And so here too, but they didn't complete the job. This is why the women are ready to complete the job for the men on Easter Sunday morning. And they then come and they have a problem. And who's gonna roll the stone away for us because the stone's rather big. And as you know, they didn't have that problem after all in the glorious uh, word about the resurrection. But it's a typical first century burial. They would often have mourners a mourning away, a moaning away at the, in the antechamber there. Sometimes uh, professional mourners, which seems so ridiculous to me. You know? <laughs> There's enough genuine reason for friends and relatives to be weeping. You don't have to hire people for that purpose. <laughs> but uh, that's a one burial custom I'm glad has changed. But it's very, very typical. But often they would come then a year or two later and gather the bones that remained after the person's decayed and put them in one of these long boxes, about this big, called ossuaries. The only time the Jews did that was from 20 BC to the destruction of Jerusalem in the year 90. The only time they did that. Jesus himself was in that second burial method. And if it hadn't been for the resurrection, that he gathered his bones later on and done that.